I realize now with this mug, it does have similarities. You know, family issues, but at least it doesn't involve murder. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Marriage Story. So I kind of caved. I've seen a lot of people talk about this movie. I've seen a lot of people just absolutely praise this movie up and down the wall. It looked like a great story, but it looked like kind of a depressing story. But sometimes you got to really be in the mood for that. I actually had never really seen or heard of Noah Bachman. I believe that's his name. I had heard of the squid and the whale. And I did know about Francis Ha only because for 2012, the university newspaper that I wrote for, all of the staff rated that as the number one movie of the year. And I know that myself included, all the other students were like, what the hell movie is this? This is the first time I've ever seen a movie of his. And I really liked it for odd reasons too. The film is about Adam Driver and Scarlett Johansson, this married couple who are going through the proceedings of a divorce. And that's essentially the movie. It's very real. It's really grounded. There's nothing really that stands out in terms of like, you could almost say it's a little bit Hollywood in certain spots. There isn't really anything like that. It does come out and come around like a real story, but it has the pacing and the editing to give it a good pace. It does have great tempo throughout the whole movie. There's never a part that drags, which I thought might have happened throughout this movie, but there's a lot of moments where time will just pass. A huge spans of times will pass. And for a movie that's two hours and 16 minutes, it keeps you in the seat the whole time. There's a, some humor peppered through this film and it's a necessary humor because if it was just as it is, it's just a depressing train ride because it's two people who clearly love each other, but they just not made for each other. They've just kind of fallen apart. And this divorce that they tried to start out as simple is just kind of snowballing into this bigger and bigger catastrophe. All the while, it starts to become something out of their hands, and it's not even about the custody of the kid or where they live, but they start to realize that it's just a squabble, and the lawyers are doing all the talking, and they kind of feel embarrassed for how everything is happening, and it looks like they, in the end, they, they realize that the best way to have solved it is through themselves, but they allow others to get involved with it, and it's kind of about a clashing of lifestyles, clashing of characters, and speaking of characters, Scarlett Johansson and Adam Driver are really, really good in this movie. Adam Driver especially. He is more so the focus of the film, whereas he's kind of the one who's figuring out how the proceedings going, uh, like us, the audience. And his emotional gravitas throughout this whole film is just, it keeps you and it you feel through his emotions. And what's great about this movie is you like both characters, you understand their reasonings for the divorce, the movie really doesn't villainize either one of them. It villainizes kind of people around them, except for one lawyer character who actually was really, really funny. But aside from that, it's just the unfortunate. It's the unfortunate story, I guess you would call it, because uh, it's such a grounded story and it's such a real story. Admittedly, this isn't a movie for everyone. It's not a movie that you're gonna to wanna to pop on all the time, but I actually would enjoy a second watch just to see the humor, just to see the characters more so. I love how the movie starts with them talking about each other and kind of going through the parts that they like about each other and that gives perfect build up into this slow decline of their relationship. It doesn't really have a beginning, it doesn't really have an end in terms of what most people might be used to, but I believe it is one of the best films that Netflix has ever produced. Aside from Beasts of No Nation, this is up there. Like, there's a reason why this is Academy Award category. It's just a great character movie. There's a lot of parts in this film that just really pull you in. Like, there's an argument that a lot of people have been talking about that's kind of about three quarters of the way through the film. And just how they direct it, you see that the camera starts to get closer and closer and closer to their faces because it's starting to get more and more emotional. It's starting to get more and more high strung. And you see that the film is putting you in their shoes. It's putting you in their perspectives. And I love a movie that can do that. Funny enough, since these two are stage performers in the, in the story, there's long takes that kind of play out like you would think of a play. So the movie is kind of like a full circle of itself. I'm gonna give Marriage Story a six out of seven. This movie deserves to be in my top 10. It's going to be in my top 10, which by the way, will be coming out on Boxing Day. I'm surprised. I didn't think I would like it as much as I did. Like I knew I would have some good feelings with it, but not as much as I did. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.
Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.